Hey guys, Aubrey here with Arian Motorsports. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the um, machine torch safety switch on your Hypertherm. Uh, this is not recommended by Hypertherm. I want to say right off the bat that um, if you activate the arc switch while you are changing out consumables, you um, can kill yourself. It's, there's very high voltage going through those. Um, so uh, you know, safety is paramount when you're dealing with these things, but um, the machine search torch safety switch doesn't really add any safety. Um, it keeps you from using the hand torch to um, on your plasma cutters and such. So um, plasma cutter, uh, like I use an arc droid and I want to use a hand torch on it because um, I don't want to spend $800 on a machine torch. So um, I put in this switch and bypassed it. And, you know, the only thing is, is that, uh, you know, if the machine activated the torch while I was changing the consumables, um, then, you know, you, I could get hurt or killed. But, um, you know, that could happen with a machine torch too. So it, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really make any sense and I've made it as safe as possible. So I'm going to show you how it works. If you're going to do this, you know, do it at your own risk uh, and know that it's, it's dangerous and it's not recommended by hypotherm. So uh, let me turn this around here and I'll show you how I hooked in the switch and, um, you know, be safe out there, guys. All right. So all we're doing is jumping two pins here. So when you plug in the machine torch, there's two pins here that are jumped and it tells the machine that the, pin, the machine torch is in and it allows the um, CNC to activate the arc start. So um, all I've done is um, put in a switch right here and in order to use my hand torch on the, uh, on the CNC machine, that switch has to be up. I turn this off every time I'm done using it. Um, this, is, this is the attachment for the arc droid. Um, and that's the machine torch tip on my hand torch. So, um, can you see back here? It's just a simple two prong switch, um, open close. And in here, if we get my light right here, this is a hooked into the orange wire and the yellow wire. Now, I believe this is um, the same across the uh, Hypertherm machine. Um, this wire that it's plugged into um, is the same wire that runs right back here. And it goes right into the back of the connector there. So, um, looks like orange is pin seven and yellow is pin eight. Um, again, this should be the same across all machines. I just, uh, um, crimped on some connectors there. This is a Hypertherm 85, Power Max 85. And the uh, wires come up right into here and plug into this board. So that's all there is to it. Um, like I said, I would recommend, uh, you know, using one of these style switches so you can make sure it's off every, every time I get done using it. Every time I take it off the arc droid, I flip that off. I also disconnect the leads every time too. So, um, you know, there's no way you could activate anyways, but just to be super safe, um, I make sure that switch is off all the time. So, um, again, not recommended by hypertherm, but, um, I, uh, took me a long time to find the information that I needed to um to find those pins and so i wanted to put this information out there for other people to use uh thanks for watching the video and like and subscribe for more content thanks